Hi Cancer. It's Elle here to do your April 2018 mid April 2018 reading. <laughs> okay, I'm a little tired, guys. Alright, so um I have shuffled prayed over the cards, you know. So let's go. We'll start with love first. Um Thank you to those who have liked, shared, comment, subscribed to the channel. Um, in the comment section, you know, uh, let me know where where you live. Maybe I'll be in your city, your town soon, and maybe we can get together and do a personal reading, um, face to face. All right. So that's that, and I'll have my schedule out as to where I'm traveling to. So if it's a city or town, uh, state close to you, then, um, you know, then you'll be there, right? Okay. Thank you. Uh-oh. Okay. So the basis in love, four of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, energy. You could be taking a break from someone. Someone could be taking a break from you because a tower moment happened or there was a shakeup or there will be a shakeup. I'm hearing surrounding the home, like somebody's leaving or I don't know, somebody got, these, y'all cars are like crazy. Five of Pinnacle is a reason for all this. Someone, someone's being really cold in a situation, in a home situation. Someone took a break mentally from, a situation because there was an unexpected unforeseen bad event that just shook the energy the reason why this happened was the five of pinnacles someone already felt left out or someone's getting kicked out someone i don't know what lord why we got started like this in the present you have the knight of cups this is uh aquarius most times um, I don't know why I felt the need to say that to you. This could be you too, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or another water sign wanting to invest emotionally with you. Um, let's see what's going on in the, in the recent past, recent past energy. Recent past energy. Six of Pentacles. Either, okay, so there's problems in the marriage, in the home life, in the relationship. This could be your second relationship, second marriage. If not, you know, that that part doesn't resonate with you. But there there's an inequality. Someone felt like they were putting too much time, too much energy, too much love, too much money, too much sex, too much something. Um, there's inequality here uh, in the past, in the recent past. Maybe that's why this energy, because it, okay, so recent past, six of pentacles, and then the reason why all of this energy is happening is a five of pentacles. So someone felt like they were doing too much or or giving too much. So they decided to just maybe either X themselves out or cut the other person out. Um, monetarily, physically, because this is physical and it's monetary. Uh, take a break from this, this person, this other person um, mentally. Could be dealing with the earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. They could be doing this to you or vice versa. Going forward, what's the forward energy? Ace of Pentacles, nice. Taking something to the next level. Either something established or this is new. Aces are about the new or about the new. This could be a new start in business, a new start of a relationship, an engagement, moving in with someone. Look like somebody getting kicked out. Somebody moving in? I don't know. Y'all let me know. Um, start of a business, new job. It's something tangible, something that can be built upon. Start of a, a really solid relation. Well, it wouldn't be the start of a relationship. It would be like really solidifying a relationship via engagement. This isn't marriage, but it's definitely engagement. Uh, moving in together, uh, making a big purchase together, buying a home or something of that nature. It's way too many. Your power. The Six of Swords. 
So you are moving away from drama, turbulence, chaos, craziness. You want peace, peace and serenity. You could be dealing with the Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Or this could just be the energy that you're taking on. You want mental peace. Because if you can get mental peace, then the next thing that comes is um, the wands, is the action of, um, you know, then creating that peace and moving things around you. And then there's the pentacle um, manifesting the life that you want. So it looks like you, you want to move somewhere. All right, external to you, external external to cancer three of wands okay what I've firstly heard someone looking for better this could be Aries Sagittarius Leo doesn't have to be someone's looking to upgrade or to they know that better is out there for them this is external to you so this could be Another a fire sign, sun, moon, or rising. Oh, I just heard, oh my gosh, somebody's waiting for you. Someone's waiting for you. Could be a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Somebody's just waiting for your, your energy, waiting for your call, waiting for your, for you to take the next step. Hmm. I think they think you are better. You are the better. And you got some funky energy going on over here. So maybe. Hopes and fears. Strength. So some of you could be hoping for a Leo. Fear in a Leo. If not, you're hoping for the strength. I def definitely hoping for strength to move forward. We got the tower here probably have the devil somewhere in here the strength to move forward gather yourself I'm here and just move forward what's the outcome for cancer and love wow nine of pentacles looks like somebody's becoming single ready to mingle somebody is um if if you're not like 100% getting there you're like mentally there. You're mentally, you are like mentally, I'm done. You're exhausted. This is also, you know, expecting monetary gain here, becoming um, very financially stable within yourself, independent. Um, single, independent. If, you, if not 100% single, you are definitely acting single. All right, these two fell out and then we're, we're done. All right, seven of sword and the four of cup. What I just heard is that Maybe you're dealing with an air sign. They're not coming up in the best light, in the best energy. They could be sneaking. They could be lying. They could be devising a plan of action to move away from you or you move away from them. You're not taking to any offer in regards to this relationship. Anyhow, you're bored. You feel you've got your mind elsewhere. Um, it's mediocre. It's nonchalant. It's just not serving you. And... You could either be devising a plan also, but or there could be an air sign um, attached to you that's devising a plan. Yeah, you might be cutting somebody out and cutting somebody off. You could be spying on someone or, or vice versa. Page of Swords, you could be dealing with a younger air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Yeah, Six of Wands. You're getting victory by way of um, moving forward. Taking action and, and cutting somebody out. It could be a Gemini. We got the magician here. 
Yeah, you're trying to manifest. See, I pulled two more cards. See what you are standing your ground on this. Like you're not going, you're not backing down. You're not. However you feel about this situation, about this person, what they did or what they didn't do, you, you don't want to hear it. The Wheel of Fortune is here saying that this was supposed to happen. It's destined. You've gone as far as you can go with this this person in this situation. King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles is stubborn. Makes solid decisions, though. It's financially stable. Um, it's a good father, good husband. I think you bring that to the table. It's either you or someone else has to make a decision. This is Libra. Sun and Libra. I read that. Um, somebody's not making a decision. They're waiting for the other shoe to drop. It looks like it's dropping this month, though. Um, cancer. Somebody's getting kicked out. You put somebody out, or they're putting you out, or y'all just done. But nobody's, you know, it's not. I don't see a lot of wands. Somebody's not taking a whole lot of action, but in their thoughts, in, in their um, material life, it looks like singlehood is where they want to be. All right, so we'll do career and finance. Career and finance for cancer. True, accurate messages for cancer. Career and finance 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 for cancer. All right, three of cups. So you enjoy what you do, or you're having some celebration in regards to what you do. Maybe you hit a milestone at your job. Um, you hit uh, a target. Uh, you've got promoted. You work in a group, Queen of Wands. Um, some of you could be, um, damn it, damn it, cancer. Um, excuse my language. Okay. Some of you could be um, getting a lot of recognition, using your intuition at work. Some of you could be entrepreneurs. The king and queen of wands of the zodiac are entrepreneurs. They have an idea. They move on it. You're taking action on something or in something. The moon is here. Spirit is working with you behind the scenes. There's a lot of unknown, uncharted territory. You don't know how this is going to work out. But queen of, queen of pentacles. Um but it very well may work out in your favor. Um, okay, I heard be grounded with, with your money. Be wise with your money decisions and money choices. Cho money choices. I don't know what the hell. Money decisions. Make good decisions in regards to your money. Have balance. A lot of, uh, some of you are really partying or just wanting to engage in fun times it is that time of the year especially in the states spring and summer months the world cycle has ended here for some of you. Knight of Cups again. Some of you are offering your cup of love or vice versa, someone to you. King of Swords, what I was about to tell you. I, I know this. This is Aquarius. I know Aquarius is an air sign, but and then the King of Swords is right next to it. You, you're off, offering Love to uh, King of Swords. This is typically Libra or Aquarius. Can be Gemini. Um, so it could be either, you know, one of the air signs. You're offering love to them. You're wanting to take the leap of faith. 
This is supposed to be career and finance, death and ending and a beginning. Wow. Someone's wanting to offer something. The Knight of Pentacles. The Lovers. Could be Gemini. Uh oh. Eight of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles. Three of Wands. This looks like love too, guys. I was, I was trying to get some um, career and finance message, but it looks like the cards really want to speak about love. Some of you could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. You're having a really good time with them. You're either dating them or you want to reconcile with them. Uh, the moon is here. There's a lot of secrets and half truths around maybe a Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius directly there needs to be some balance here somebody's off kilter emotionally somebody's out of whack emotionally the cards say that there's an ending to a cycle maybe with a fire sign or with a situation that has you out of balance emotionally you could be offering your cup of love to a gemini libra aquarius typically i mean well specifically an aquarius or a libra wanting to take the leap of faith with them this is aries some of you could be dealing with an Aries or someone Aries in their chart. Put you want transformation in a certain situation, a relationship. You want to offer something stable. Or this Capricorn Virgo Taurus wants to offer something stable. But a choice needs to be made, or you could be dealing with a Gemini. You could be dealing with a Gemini. Some some of you want you want to put the work in with this Gemini. You're holding on to this situation, but at the same time, you're still looking out into the horizons because you know that there's better out there for you. So after, and this also could be that this Gemini person or. Yeah, this Gemini person or um, someone else, you're wanting to put the work in. But they, they're they closed. They're closed up to, with the Four of Pentacles, they're closed up to any offers, to any, um, their heart is guarded. And they could be keeping their options open. Or you choose to keep your options open, move away from the drama and the chaos, have a new start in love, Ace of Cups, either with yourself, Ace of Swords, you have a new start in love because maybe truth comes out. Maybe with the Taurus, we got, Cap we got Queen of Pentacles here. Wish Fulfillment, Five of Wands. Empress. Looks like some of you, somebody's waiting for somebody else. It's like, okay, what I'm hearing is like some of you, um, like you took the consolation prize. Oh, that, that sounds bad. The consolation prize may be this person that you're offering to. But there's somebody else you want. Could definitely be a Taurus. Or somebody you just deem as very abundant, fruitful, beautiful, understanding, a, a creator of their own destiny. You want a relationship with them. There's a lot of inner conflict, but you're hoping and wishing for this. Once again, it could be a Taurus. Truth and clarity comes out. You start to have a new love for yourself firstly. And then you can give to someone else because you've walked away six of swords uh, put behind this old partnership because you know that there was better for you because you were trying to work on this situation with this person 
And it looks like you made the choice, which was your consolation prize. But it's just not going to work. You need to go where you want to go, where you want to be with whomever. We couldn't even get a career finance arena. All right, guys. Cancer. Cancer. My name is Larry. All right. <laughs> Two cards of support. This is just. It's like the same reading all the time for you guys. It's like you're done with someone you know you don't want, but you're holding on because you don't know if the other person wants you. You don't know if you can establish something new with their forgiveness. Um, but the cards are saying just go where you really want to be and stop playing because the person you with they're doing the same thing. They're playing, too. They they done picked up on you playing games. You know? You, what are you going to do? Play games with each other for the rest of your life? Go where you really want to be. Some of you want to be with another air sign. Some of you want to be with a Capricorn Virgo Taurus. Relationship dynamics, of course. Memories. All right. Family changes at the bottom of the deck. All right, forgive this. It looks like you wanted that to be offered to you from this partner, this, this consolation prize that you're holding on to. It was like, forgive me for, you know, whatever you did or whatever you didn't do because I'm here now because I feel like I can't go anywhere else. Mm. That's a hell of an apology. Um... You don't say that, but that is what's in the core of you. You know, you're willing to make it work with this person. And you want forgiveness. You want, you, and you also want forgiveness from this other person that you really want to be with. Because at one point, you might have been in a third party situation. Or you might have put them in a third party situation. Or they put you in a third party situation. Forgiveness is warranted from some party relationship dynamics the relationship has changed because feelings have changed um someone's entered the relationship someone's exited the relationship so the dynamics have changed how you feel about yourself how you feel about your life has changed so the relationship dynamics have changed it's almost as if we always, you know, we, we want to grow with our significant partner, but sometimes we grow apart. We don't grow together. We grow apart. You're having memories, memories of either this past person, memories of um, the good times, maybe with the current person. Um, and you're trying to live on that and live in that. But it's not good enough. It's not good enough. It's not good enough either for you or for the other person that you're trying to just get along to get along with. I don't even know where I'm. I don't even talk like that. So this is definitely for somebody. Uh, family changes talks about someone leaving the home, someone coming into the home, having a baby. Uh, once again, the dynamics of relationships changing. Um, it could talk about death. It could be. T it could talk about loss, loss of a relationship. Um, just any change that can surround the family, L losing a job, anything. Definitely talks about someone leaving home. But it also, could talk about divorce, separation. Cancer, cancer, cancer. Come on, just. Do what you got to do to get where you need to be. Devise a plan of action so your readings can be different. Um, the fire sign, you've gone as far as you can go in that situation. Um, I think they're highly manipulative. Um, they take advantage of, of your good nature or the fact that you're always holding on and you won't let go. Uh, 
if you're with an air sign right now, they might not be coming up in the greatest. They didn't, they're not coming up in the greatest light, not by way of the cards. They, you know, they could be manipulating too, or they could just have the same reserve as you do. You know, I'm just going to hang in until somebody, one of us ends this, you know. Um, life is too short. Live how you want to live. Do what you want to do with whomever you want to do it with. But to be holding on to a situation that you know is stagnates you, you're unfulfilled, you could care less if this person walks out of the house tomorrow and doesn't come back. You might think about it here and there, but um, it almost will free you. You will be like, okay, I'm free. Great. You know, I'm so happy. I don't know. Cancer, request a personal reading so we can pull the energy for you um, so you can know what to do or how to do in the near future. Um, follow me on Instagram, Instago. You can ask a question or two there. Choose to fund the page by clicking the GoFundMe link. Any donation amount is acceptable. I think that's that's it. My email address is below. All information, all information you need is below. All right. So guys, remember what I say. When in doubt, pray. I'm praying for you, so pray for me as well. Take care, guys.